I'm Adil Kumar and here is a practice video for you. You need to find the modulus and the argument of each number, right? So these are all complex numbers we are working with. Z equals to 3 plus 2i, B is u equals to 3 minus 4i, then we have V equals to minus 3i, D is w equals to 2, right? So if this one has only the real part, this one has the imaginary part, right? And these ones are mixed but all are complex numbers. I hope you remember what is modulus. Let me write down the formula for you, right? So the modulus is written as, let's say for any, we'll do for the first one, z in general is, let us say if the number z is a plus bi, in that case modulus will be square root of a square plus b square. As far as the argument is concerned, right? Argument is the angle which it makes with the real axis, right? So argument phi is equals to tan inverse of, uh, well, you could write tan inverse of the imaginary over real part, right? So in, let me write, A, I mean, B is the imaginary part, so B over I, correct? So for the first one, the modulus Z will be equals to square root of 3 square plus 2 square square root and uh, and the argument will be tan inverse of 2 over 3 correct so likewise you can do for all find your answers that should give you good practice on finding modulus and argument of these numbers now as an added question what you can do here is also sketch them or draw them right D sketch them on a plane right sketch them on a plane so of course you'll have one real axis the other one will be the complex axis right so you could always sketch them on a plane where one of the axes is real which is always the horizontal axis the other one is the imaginary axis so this is i okay this is i so that is how it should be for example the first one 3 plus 2i so you go three units real axis two units imaginary axis so that represents z okay so that is how you could do for rest also i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best